Congratulations on another successful case. I'm a huge fan of your work, Judge McGregor. Thank you, Agatha, but I'm just doing my duty. McGregor? Oh my god! No! Hello, it's me, Agatha. A week has passed since Judge Maxwell McGregor was assassinated, but I'm still in a state of shock. But today I received a strange letter from his son, Wilson. It's an invitation to McGregor Manor on Blackwood Island. Apparently Judge McGregor has left something to me in his will. What? So you got the same letter? How strange. But I see no reason to say no. Besides, you're investigating his murder, right? Great. I'll pick you up tonight. Welcome to McGregor Manor. I'm Tyler, the McGregor's butler. Please come inside before the storm worsens. Please come in. Make yourselves comfortable. The other guests have gathered at the table. Once you two have joined them, I shall read the late Judge McGregor's will aloud. Oh, I almost forgot. Judge McGregor asked me to present you this box in person. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We've gathered here tonight to honor the memory of my father, Judge Maxwell McGregor. While he believed most people were significantly flawed, he considered all of you to be kind and decent people. That's why he has bequeathed something to each of you. My dear guests, I'm the judge. I'm so glad you've gathered here, because Maxwell McGregor's murderer is hiding among you right now. If that murderer will surrender now, no one will get hurt. Well, except for the killer, of course. What is this, a disgusting prank? I'm calling the police. Oh, I forgot to mention, due to the storm, I'm afraid your connection to the mainland has been severed. Sleep tight, and may justice bite!
If you're watching this, then my death has come. For 20 years, I served Themis, and I've never met a reporter more ethical as you. Thanks to your investigations, many criminals are behind bars. My time is coming to an end. Someone is tracing my every move, but I don't have proof. Once I am killed, I want you to investigate. Now, I'd like to present you with something. A watch. A watch like this is worth more than any money. It rips the masks from liars. Criminals are like a medal. There are two sides. This watch will reveal what others are hiding in their hearts. Clarissa Underwood. I was with everyone when this started, but now everyone is blaming each other. Please believe me, I didn't kill Maxwell. I worked as a physician. I knew Judge McGregor. He was my patient. He was present at my trial when I was sentenced for patient malpractice. You see, I was trying to save my patient's life, so I doubled the dose he needed. I truly thought it would help, but he died, so I was taken to court on criminal charges. Oh no, I wasn't judged by McGregor. There was another judge preceding my case, but he's the one who officially revoked my medical license. Since then, my life has gone downhill. I lost all my success, all my patience, even McGregor. I'm nothing now. Clarissa Underwood, you were convicted of malpractice. Today, your licensure will be permanently revoked. A job? You don't even have a license anymore! You're fired! Clarissa's lying! There was something fishy about her story and what I saw in her past. She must have lied about... I lied. McGregor was my judge, but I never wanted to kill him. That malpractice really was my fault, and his punishment was fair. I'll never lose the guilt of killing my patient. I'll stay here and see if I can help anyone. Take this. I found it under the table.
Thanks for saving me. I lost consciousness after that strange gas filled the room. I started running until I found myself here. I know you suspect me, but I don't have a motive for killing McGregor, and you know it. He was my mentor when I was studying for my bar exam. He was kind and wise. He taught me everything I know. I became a barrister thanks to him. What do you mean you didn't understand this case? You always give up too easily, Agatha. You'll never pass the bar at this rate. Oh yeah? I'll show you! I can't believe my sister lied to me! Now that I've seen her past, it turns out that... I'm sorry I lied to you. It's true, Mr. McGregor was a tough teacher, and we didn't always get along very well. But I wasn't lying when I said I'm a barrister because of him. He pushed me to become better. I owe him my career. Any- Don't try to escape or interfere. Otherwise, I'll kill you without any further investigation. We can't let him boss us around. Let's find a way to open these mechanical doors and get out of here. I'll look for another way out of this mansion. Why don't you search the hallway and the bathroom?
I can't forgive myself for acquitting that fiend. After leaving the court, he murdered my wife. I found only an unusual watch in her clutched hand. She had bought it from a spirit medium. Apparently, this watch can identify when someone is telling a truth or a lie. It helped me solve many cases and put many criminals behind bars. That's how I've become the greatest judge in the country. With this watch, I can finally take justice into my own hands and fairly determine criminals' fates. You think I wouldn't figure out that you're the one who brought us all here? I'm Officer Douglas Jones, and you're under arrest for kidnapping and murder. Now put your hands in the air and turn around slowly. You have the right to remain silent. I'm taking you to the station for questioning.
You fell right into my trap, you meddling reporter. Thanks for returning my watch. Now, only I can see the truth. So, so Agatha, Agatha, did you kill Judge, Judge McGregor? McGregor? Don't lie now. Your life, life is on the line. I swear I didn't kill him. Please, let me go. I'm innocent. Ah, no one is completely innocent in this world. Though I appreciate your honesty. Ha! No one is completely innocent in this world. Though I appreciate your honesty. Ha! No one is completely innocent in this world. You're lucky I'll I spare you life, your life, Detective. This watch doesn't answer my questions, so you needed more. But Agatha will stay with me while you're looking for the murderer. If you fail and all the suspects die, I'll have to kill her to make sure McGregor's murderer is dead. Thank goodness. Detective, I'm sorry for calling you the murderer. I just freaked out. The real murderer just attacked me. But he was masked. I understand you have your doubts about me, but it doesn't make sense. I might have weapons as a patrol officer, but I'm a pacifist. I wouldn't harm a fly. You defended yourself, but you used excessive force that led to the assailant's death. Due to the grave risk you faced, you're acquitted. I'm sorry, Douglas, but you can't be deputy police chief after that case. I have to demote you to patrol officer. Okay, fine. Do you know what it's like to have blood on your hands when your job is to protect people? When a dangerous criminal attacked me, I had to shoot him. I didn't mean to kill him, but that's what happened. I was acquitted at my trial by McGregor because of the circumstances, but my career was ruined. Anyway, we need to find Brian. I'm sure he's the killer. I found several posters about him. He's wanted for killing several women. We should stick together to find him, but I'll slow you down in my condition. Please, find a way to help me. Here, I found this list of healing herbs.
Thanks. I feel much better. I tried going through the cave to get to Brian, but it's full of deadly traps. This rascal prepared for any intervention. Wait, take this battery. It's dead, but you can recharge it. I'll wait for you by the traps.
the perfect place to hide her. <laughs> nice try. You're just a weak journalist. Huh? Ah! You got me. I, Brian O'Connor, did all of this. Everyone's blood is on my hands. See? Do you see it? <laughs> I had to do this. He thought he could kill me, Samantha Young, the country's best architect. Do you think I could have killed McGregor too? 
Besides this, I've never killed anyone. We got him! Brian O'Connor, a serial killer who murdered several women in Blackwood. One person died after the collapse of a residential house designed by Samantha Young. The expert evaluation proved there were severe flaws in her blueprints. Samantha's voice is trembling. She's definitely lying about... Now you know, I'm definitely not the best architect. I didn't pay enough attention to the blueprints of my latest building. It collapsed, and a man was killed. But I had no motives to kill Judge McGregor. I designed a summer house for him, and he liked it. You know, the only person I haven't seen after the meeting is Tyler, the butler. He has a lot of reasons to kill his employer. Getting money, the manor. You should find and question him. I bet he's still in the manor. We need to get back there and stop this mayhem. Oh, and take this. I've never cared about making model cars. While my classmates were kicking a ball around, I dreamed of finding my true love. Someone I could trust with my heart. I had a lot of girlfriends, pretty as flowers. But after just a few weeks, I took off my rose-colored glasses and realized that they were all deceivers, full of flaws. One didn't like my music. The other didn't appreciate the ring I gave her. They always ruined everything. Like a surgeon with a knife, I decided to rid the world from such imperfection. I carried out my duty at midnight, when the lights on the island turned off. Why do the newspapers say that I'm a monster? They don't understand that I'm a hero.
I told you not to follow me. I can't do it anymore. There's danger everywhere. Thank you for saving me from that maniac, Brian, but I need to get off this island. Goodbye. Ah, oh, my head. Wait, don't kill me. I know I'm one of the suspects, but I would never murder Maxwell McGregor. He gave me my life. As for this mask, I just put it on because I was afraid someone would chase me. I don't even know whose it is. I found it nearby.
leave you on your own after your parents' death, Tyler. You can work at my manor. Here's the mask and the list. Interrogate them all until you find the murderer. Tyler isn't being completely honest. He lied about. I can't believe it. Yes, I'm bad at lying. The judge ordered me to kill anyone who tried to escape from the island or sneak back into the manor. He said it was in the name of Maxwell McGregor, a man I truly adored. I also wanted to find the murderer. And I think I succeeded. My own investigation will surprise you. The killer is... Go to the manor. That's where you'll find what you're looking for.
I guess there's no point in hiding anymore. Surprised? Samantha and your sister Agatha are the only suspects left. One of them is the killer. But who? Think fast. We'll wait for you and your decision in the old lighthouse.
We've been waiting for you. I have the last suspects, and they're not being talkative. Maybe if they see the knife that killed my father, it'll ring a bell. No, we didn't kill anyone! You arranged everything to gather us all here and kill us one by one! You're suspiciously nervous, Agatha. Find the knife and bring it here. We'll see if they dare lie to your watch. I've never seen this knife before. Come on, do you really believe that freak over your own sister? You're always interfering, Agatha. I can't let you keep me from carrying out justice. Don't come any closer, you hypocrite! Oh, oh my god! I can't believe it. All this time, the truth was that Agatha...
Now it's all clear. Agatha killed my father, and now I'll finally get my revenge. And I'll have to get rid of you, too. Yes, I killed Judge McGregor to save my own life, but I couldn't confess because I was afraid. If I knew it would all turn out like this, I'd have told the truth right away. Thanks for saving my life. I hope everything will be alright at court.